What's up, wood carvers? My name's Alec LaCasse, and today we're going to talk about my favorite gouges. We've got U tools, we've got V tools, we've got blades. Look at all the blades! It's going to be fantastic, and one of my favorites is going to surprise you. Let's get into it. Hey, folks, today we're going to be talking all things gouges, at least how it relates to brands. So, I'm going to talk about my absolute favorite brands, go through a handful of different types, and round them down to my absolute top three favorite gouges. And uh, if you have a favorite, love to hear what yours is. Comment below for that. Also like and subscribe and all that stuff that everyone tells you to do on YouTube because that's what we need. And uh, hit that bell as well to get notifications. Let's get into it. All right, Marco? Yeah. All right, so just a quick word of caution uh, and a safety measure. Uh, brought to you by my beautiful wife, Annalise. All right, Annalise, show us why it's so important that you wear a glove or that you're very careful with your gouges. That's right. I cut my hand. She was trying to help me out today. She cut her hand. Anyway, pay attention, guys. Use a glove. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Wear a glove, <laughs> even when you're doing a little test like this. Uh, I'm not because I'm an idiot. No, it's because I just don't prefer to wear one. And I've been doing this for 16 years, so I have the advantage of having the actual skill sets and being able to control my tool. Now, I'm most likely to cut myself on a butter knife, actually. Uh, this is from a chainsaw carving project, probably brushing up against a piece of wood or something. But the point is, um, I very seldom cut myself because I know how to control the tools. Anyway, moving on. The uh, first tool that I wanted to show you is a tool that I chose because it's uh, fairly readily available. Um, it's sold by Woodcraft, and it's a beginner-friendly tool in terms of the cost. You're looking at about 15 10 or $15. At least they were that price. I'm sure they've raised a little bit in the last few years, but I still think they're under $20 a piece for these, uh, and they're really nice. Uh, they come in a variety of handle sizes, at least two handle sizes that I'm aware of, and they're known as Ramelson. Ramelson is a really nice maker, and uh, I'm partial to them because I started with them. These are my first gouges. I loved them because they were tempered properly. They were cheap enough. You could kind of tap on the back with a mallet. And uh, yeah, they hold an, an edge pretty well. Let's do a little test. Got my basswood block here. Yeah, rides right through the basswood. Leaves a nice curl. Nice little track in there. That's the palm tool, so it fits right in the palm. It's easy to work if you're whittling, if you're holding the piece of wood that you're working. It's pretty nice to have uh, something like this, something with a smaller handle. It's easier to grab. It's sort of the optimum tool for handheld projects. And if you're doing a relief carving, but uh, also doing a whittling as well project here and there, this is the uh, larger sized handle. Um, I'm not sure if this is a rebadge of Ramelson, but it's like the same print. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, I don't know, I guess I can't say. Maybe just a different maker from the same factory. But Ramelson makes a handle exactly like this. Same size form factor, uh, you know, very similar material. This is a little rusty, but... The next one is uh, a tool maker that uh, we've talked about before. And uh, I love the uh, knives that they make because they're made with good steel. They're sharpened right off the gate super well, so they're razor sharp. And uh, they make a great set of tools. I've actually been uh, against them formally, really not a huge fan of the tools, because of their name. You know, I just use them seldomly here and there, and I thought, who wants a tool that flexes? But it's FlexCut. I'm a, a fan of FlexCut. I still have a little price tag on this one. But uh, this is a V tool, and... Uh, it's actually a uh, half inch. You can see here it's a 60 degree V. I love this tool. Uh, I like the, the, the sharp V. I like the, uh, the control of the tool is great. It, uh, it's a really nice handle. Actually, I, I don't mind the handle. This is a palm grip handle as well, similar to the Ramelson. So it's easy to hold in your hand if you're holding the uh, project in the opposite hand. And you can see it's very sharp. You know, it comes out of the gate sharp, stays sharp. And uh, Ramelson and FlexCut are two really great base model brands, and that's why I brought them up. Um, you know, of course, I should say at the end of this video, I'm going to rate my top uh, three favorite gouge brands, just across the board. If you're looking to find a reliable maker, uh, then tune into that. That's going to be uh, super helpful. 
for uh, you if you're kind of trying to expand your tool set in the beginner set category of uh, carving skills. So the next tool is I uh, wanted to pay a little homage to uh, some of the smaller companies that uh, have existed in the past. And uh, maybe they're not so tiny, but they're, they're still kind of uh, a little bit lesser known uh, than maybe say FlexCut or, uh, you know, Swiss made or all that. But it's a company um, owned by, uh, I'm not sure if it used to be owned by Dave Shipley. Uh, it's Denny. Denny Tools used to be the owner. Now it's OCCT. And uh, this is actually um, one of the previous owner's tools. You can see here it's marked Denny. But this will be our OCCT stand-in. I've used OCCT uh, tools, uh, or OCC tools, because the T stands for tools, it's redundant. Uh, it's a great tool. It's another kind of budget-friendly tool. Uh, holds an edge well. Uh, and you can order these. If you search OCCT uh, uh, online, you will find uh, a number of uh, people selling it. Uh, so check that out. There's a lot of people selling these. And you can actually probably even find some of the old Denny's as well. These are really nice. Uh, Great steel, carves well, uh, hold it in your palm or use it as a tool uh, with the piece mounted to a surface uh, on a relief carving. This one's actually got a bit of a scoop to it, which is kind of cool. And yeah, these come sharp, which is a huge advantage. Nice, smooth entry and exit. It's a good tool. So we'll set that there amongst our smaller palm tools. Another brand that's uh, come to light recently, it's grown a lot is uh, a shaf, I believe it's called a shafe, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's uh, S-C-H-A-A-F. Uh, they're a cheaper Chinese manufacturer. And, you know, they actually use pretty decent steel. Um, I've heard good things about this company. I've used their tools a little bit here and there. This is actually uh, created from the, sh uh, the same factory that shaf uses. This is not badged shaf, though, uh, interestingly enough. Um, that being said, it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a good representation of it from what I'm uh, told, from what I understand. And uh, yeah, they're pretty decent tools. Now, the problem is with shaft, they come fairly sharp out of the gate, you know? I mean, you can kind of carve with them. They do a pretty good job. Uh, but if you want them razor sharp, you have to pay the company a little extra money, and they'll send them to uh, Dick Belcher, who will sharpen them uh, for the company. And uh, yeah, that's that's definitely a, uh, a downside in that you gotta spend a little more. But uh, they're already cheap to start with, so. This is a pretty good entry level gouge. Good steel, uh, holds an edge pretty well. Uh, another company that uh, is worth saving the, you know, it, it's worth the extra pennies if you're trying to grow your skills and you want to, you know, buy a tool that will last you a lifetime. Uh, they're really in the category of their own, uh, some of the better tools out there. Uh, they're Swiss made. Swiss made, I've been using, this is so old the logo's worn off. If I can find another one, but, uh, Anyway, it says Swiss made here, and then the, the number, which is the curve, and then we got 20, which indicates the width, that's 20 millimeters. So, and also another indication of the curve, or number seven. And this is their logo. It's like an arrow with uh, a couple of points there. Yeah, I guess just an arrow. But uh, it's a fantastic company. I would say probably one of the best knife makers around today. Uh, Swiss made makes excellently tempered steel tools with a um, nice, nice fit and finish ash handles. Uh, it's a European tool. Um, just highly recommend those if you're trying to really get into a higher level of tool. And uh, another tool company, a lot like that. I like because they kind of offer this middle ground between the two companies. Uh, they're both uh, hand forged in the same factory they've been hand forged in for over 100 years. One of the older factories uh, creating hand tools. Uh, but they're also affordable. So they're not as expensive in many instances as the, the, the Swiss made, but they are incredibly uh, uh, good. They're, they're, you know, their quality control is, is good. Um, and they uh, unfortunately, however, come uh, very much like the shaft tools or the shaft tools, uh, not as sharp as the flex cut, right? Or, I'm sorry, as the, uh, well, yes, the flex cut, but the Swiss made. This, these are uh, tools that do uh, come out the gate with you know, a need for a little polishing. Right, uh, and you can send them to folks to do that. You can do it yourself if you have a, a strop and a little sharpening setup. That you can check out my sharpening video if you're interested in learning more about that. But Stubai is an excellent uh, maker of tools. Now I want to say uh, I do have. You can see this one's been used pretty heavily. 
Um, but Stubai uh, does have a uh, contract uh, with me as well, and uh, uh, not a contract. It's really just I, I did distribution for them uh, years ago. Now I haven't done it in a long time, so I have no dog in the fight here. I really don't. Uh, I don't really plan on selling a ton more of these as possible in the future. That the distribution will come back into play here, but. Uh, I've just been so busy, I have not been selling tools. But the point is, these I've used extensively. I mean, this one's not as worn out as others. Actually, this may have been a manufacturer error. That's what, that might be why I have it. Because it doesn't look worn out, does it? Let's see if I have another one. Um, yeah, that being said, their quality control, is it as good as Swiss made? I don't think so. I've received a couple of tools. Now, granted, I've gone through hundreds of tools, right, selling them. Uh, and there's occasional bugs, so I'm sure if I sold Swiss made, I would see the same thing. But um, their their quality, uh, you know, of, of tools is very high. Like the steel, the gr the, the grade of steel is excellent. Um, I guess when I say quality controls, I've seen a couple of handles like this, so I don't want to, you know, unfairly judge them for that. But uh, they do uh, make excellent tools. But uh, by the way, here's an example of a Swiss made that you can actually see. <laughs> Again, rusty sons of guns, still razor sharp. Um, but the brand <laughs> is Stubai. <laughs> it took me a while to get there. This is an Austrian company. It's a really high quality uh, knife maker. They hold an edge extremely well. A little bit harder, a little bit harder than the Swiss made. A tiny bit harder. Uh, than the kind of standard uh, tool. So they take a little bit more effort to sharpen, but they hold an edge extremely well. And uh, actually, I think I dropped this one as well. This one's seen better days, uh, but we can kind of test it out and uh, see how it does nonetheless. Um, yeah, that's doing good. So these are excellent tools. I recommend them. Another maker that is uh, on the higher end of the scale of price and quality is uh, a company that has been making tools in Germany. I I'm pretty sure they're, they've been around for a while. They're a West German company. And uh, if you have an old tool that says West Germany on it, it's, it's possible that it's early two cherries. I have a bunch of them. But uh, only one of these has the uh, modern logo, uh, and that's this one. And this one's a little beat up because I've used it for just years and years and just treated it poorly. I need to actually bring it to the sharpening stone. Um, but these are excellent, excellent two tools. Two, two cherries. They they pay a lot of attention to the uh, you know the quality of the tool. You know they they do a great job with tempering. Um, the fit and finish is superb. Really nice steel collar, which I like particularly as an engineering feature prevents the, the handle from uh, being split by the tang. And uh, I guess since we're talking about it, I'll show you quickly the anatomy of the gouge, right? Just the gist of how they're put together. Let me find my tool here. Yeah, so it's another example of a maker, a European maker, is Henry Taylor. And uh, Henry Taylor makes an excellent knife as well. Similar to the uh, aforementioned uh, Stubai and Schaff, they don't come razor sharp, so you do have to sharpen them or polish them yourself, right? It's a downside for sure if you're just starting out. But uh, this tool is actually coming apart because I beat the crud out of it. Uh, this is the, the anatomy of a tool, basically. You've got the tang, which inserts into the wooden handle. And then we've got this collar. So again, this tang, as it inserts into the handle, right, like so, when you bang on the back of this hammer um, with a hammer, you can actually drive this into the wood in such a way to where it splits the handle, right? We saw that in the case of the Stubai tool. If you really whack on your tools a lot and you're hard on them, uh, this collar will prevent the, the handle from splitting. So it does not prevent the back side from splitting, but it prevents the front side from, from splitting. And that's an advantage. Uh, but despite what this tool is uh, showing you right now, <laughs> Henry Taylor, Good company. They, they make good stuff. I, I recommend them. I like their products. I would say definitely a, a go for me on, on that front. Another uh, company, English company, Henry Taylor, I forgot to mention is an English company, is uh, also uh, a great tool, Ashley Isles. Ashley Isles is uh, made in England. 
And they're another company that produces a fine quality tool. They have a nice, uh, this looks like a brass collar, which I think is a nice touch. And these hold an edge well. They're really nice to use. I use mine fairly regularly. Again, we've got a palm tool. Pretty sure they do a full size tool as well. Uh, it's a good company. For, I've had no negative experiences with Henry Taylor or Ashley Isles. They're both uh, tempered to a you know, high standard, uh, highly recommended. Uh, and then just a, uh, a quick note about a few other uh, companies uh, that are no longer in business anymore, uh, but worth looking for if you're at an estate sale, a garage sale, or maybe on eBay, is Addis. Addis uh, originally was uh, JB Addis and Co. And then they were bought out, well, I guess inherited by their by the son of uh, SB Addis. And uh, so then they called it uh, SB Addis and Sons, right? And this is also a great maker. Uh, this is uh, probably turn of the century, you know, from the you know, probably 1870s to 1900s. Um, an excellent, excellent tool. Uh, these are actually amongst the, the, the premier uh, tools that... Uh, you know, carvers use. These are just excellent, excellent steel. Uh, it's uh, very, very nicely balanced between hardness and softness, so durability and uh, ability to be easily sharpened. And so uh, if you've run across those, to me, it's a really high-end tool. So, all right, let's do this now. Let's clear the table and uh, wind this video down and tell you my top three favorite makers of all of these gouge brands of all the gouge brands that I've tried, what I would recommend for you to look into if you're starting out in the carving. Let's do that. All right, so our third uh, best brand or maker of gouges uh, goes to a company that uh, could have been um, my absolute favorite. It's just that the um, maker does not make uh, the kind of full shaft tools that I'm looking for and what I do. Um, but they're both affordable and also uh, high quality. They're made to a great quality standard. Many of my students have used these tools and have had the opportunity to sharpen many and use them. Uh, of course, the, uh, the tool I'm talking about is OCCT, uh, OCC Tools. And uh, this, of course, is a stand-in for OCCT. It's Denny. It's their previous uh, company because uh, most of the tools that I have um, are from Denny. Uh, the earlier uh, brand that shows you how old I am, uh, preceding OCC. Uh, but um, my experience with OCC uh, tools um, has been very positive and uh, just heard from a number of you guys how uh, much you've appreciated the brand. So kudos to them for making a great product. Uh, they have a number of uh, various types of tools. It's a, it's a flat type um, kind of uh, a steel um, gouge. They have their own process that I imagine involves uh, not quite drop forging, um, I shouldn't speak too much on it though because I'm not uh, well versed in their manufacturing, but they're a good tool, hold their uh, edge well. All right, that brings me to my second favorite carving gouge brand of all time. Uh, this is a company that uh, I have recommended uh, as of late in spades because it's just so easy to access, right? I mean, you can get them on Amazon. I have a link uh, to the uh, to the company uh, in the description. It's just so uh, easy to get. Uh, the only reason I don't include it as my number one favorite tool is because I just couldn't in my right mind put this tool ahead of my number one favorite tool. I've just had such a history of working with my number one favorite tool. Uh, but Flex Cut is the, the maker of the, of the second best gouge company in my opinion, right? They're, they're just a decent company. Um, I've seen their full-size tools. I've had an opportunity to work with them. They're actually surprisingly good. Um, they do make, in other words, like a, a full-size tool uh, such as this, right? So you've got uh, the ability to whack on it with a mallet. If I remember correctly, they're collared tools. Uh, it's just a good company. I uh, highly recommend them as well. Uh, the third, uh, I'm sorry, the first, <laughs> final, absolute uh, favorite gouge of all time is it a manufacturer that is, um, you know, it is priced on the higher end, right? It's the, it's not the cheapest tool that you can buy, but it's something that's worth saving up for. And uh, if you can't afford it, by all means, go ahead to the Flex Cut or the OCC tools. They're excellent, excellent makers. But if you can't afford to spend the extra ten or fifteen dollars per tool, and in some cases more, um, Swiss made is one of the best, uh, if not my favorite, 
tools. Uh, I've used them for years. You can see this tool I've had since I was a, a 12 year old boy or a 13 year old boy. Um, they are hard wearing. I've never had one split or come out of the collar. Uh, the steel is the perfect uh, balance of hardness and softness, right? So it's uh, it's right in that like 60 uh, Rockwell hardness range and it's uh, excellent. It's just an excellent tool. I highly recommend them. Uh, they, they're very diverse in the offerings. They have massive, massive tools, you know, in this kind of size range. They have smaller tools, palm tools. Uh, I've got a number of their palm tools. Actually, it was gifted a, a palm set uh, as a teenager and I've still got a few of them floating around. These are also excellent tools. These are the Swiss made palm tools. Uh, again, a little pricey, but excellent, excellent tools. Great temper, great steel, hold an edge all the way down. I've ground these tools down to a nub and uh, the steel is uh, equally as good at the end as it is at the beginning of the tool when you first start to use it. So all this plays in to why I chose FlexCut as my favorite manufacturer of Gouge, I'm sorry, Swiss made is my favorite manufacturer of gouge. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned a little bit. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about uh, any of these uh, gouges, um, do a Google search. <laughs> I don't have any written articles anywhere on this, but uh, if you want to check out FlexCut, I do have a link to uh, some FlexCut gouges or FlexCut sets below. Uh, excellent products, uh, readily available. The Swiss made, you're going to have to go to a, a, a qualified dealer for those. Excellent tools, worth checking out. Thanks again, guys. And if you want to learn more about carving, you can see a list of different projects scrolling here. Uh, these are all the projects that I offer in my online school. So check that out. Lots of different things, 55 plus project videos in depth on carving the realistic face primarily, but a few other projects as well as uh, you know, little uh, tips and tricks and uh, collection of uh, basics of carving. So check that out. Bye.